So you've got a big task in front of you and you've got it undertaken. Give us a sense of what you believe you need to accomplish at the VA. Well, first of all, we have to get it right for our veterans. There's no doubt that the country has a responsibility to those who defend us and the president has made that commitment and I feel strongly that we have to do better than we've been doing. What we're doing is really modernizing the system and in every way possible. We're giving veterans more choice. We're updating our systems so that the people who work in the VA have better tools and we're making sure that we do this job so that we earn back the trust of our veterans. So, so give us a sense of some of the deliverables, specific deliverables that you want to get done. Well, we're making it easier for veterans to be able to get care both in the VA, making more appointments available and making them in a more timely way, and making it easier for veterans that want to get care in the private sector or in the community. We're improving our facilities. We're getting a new information system. We are improving the timeliness of our services. And probably most important, we're making available and transparent our wait times and everything that we're doing, including when we let employees go. Yeah, you post, as I understand it, wait times, actually, so people can look at them. This is a vast bureaucracy. As I said, it's something like 377,000 people you have working there. Other people before you have said they want to reform the VA, and they, I think it's fair to say, haven't gotten it done. How do you change that big a bureaucracy? Well, I, I do believe that the issues that we're dealing with have been uh, issues that have been longstanding, dealt with over multiple administrations and for really decades. And now is really the time to address these problems. And the way that you have to do it is you have to have support from the president. We have that. And then you have to have bipartisan support in Congress. And fortunately, this is an issue that both Democrats and Republicans agree upon, that this has gone on long enough and it's time to take the reforms necessary. Do you need more money to get the job done? I don't think this is a money problem. I think that the president has put a budget forth for 2018 that is enough to get this job done. I think this is primarily improving the way that we do business and treating it more like a business, like a private sector would approach a problem like this. And so this is a fundamental reform, not necessarily a money reform. Anybody who's run a big enterprise, whether it's a business or whether it's the V or something, knows there can be resistance from inside. And one of the things you're trying to do is hire people faster, but also move people out who aren't getting the job done. Are you getting resistance from the rank and file? Well, I think overall people who work in the VA are there for the right reason. They're there because they believe in the mission and they want to do better. And they know when they're part of a bureaucracy that isn't working. So the vast majority of our employees are behind us, supportive, and very encouraged by the type of changes that they see. There are, of course, a minority that are stuck in the status quo. And what we're, what we're hoping to do is to let them understand that this is not optional. We are going to make these changes, and we want them to come on board. For the few that don't, they probably need to find another place to work. How we provide medical care for our veterans is a clear priority of President Trump, but there's also a larger issue across the country about how we provide medical care to everyone. You are a physician. Mm -hmm. You actually still see patients at the Veterans Administration, uh, but you also have run some very big private organizations. Uh, give us a sense, not so much about the politics on Capitol Hill, but from what you know, how could we, what should we do to really reform health care in this country to make sure people have health care, but also that it's affordable for the country? Well, I think as the country has been seeing, as we've had this debate, this is not an easy issue, and so it's not going to be one answer. But I will tell you some of the things that I think are essential to reform. Giving the patient more choice mm -hmm. and involving them more in decision making has to be the foundation of any type of new health care system. Secondly, I think we're going to see the biggest advances in cost and quality through better diagnosis. And what we're seeing now is really a revolution in what I would call artificial intelligence, the ability to assemble information from big data sources, even when it relates to an individual patient, and make more specific and more accurate diagnoses so that we can target treatments that are personalized and individualized. And finally, I think technology is going to help provide more care in people's homes, because we spend so much money mm -hmm. at the very end of life. And nobody wants to leave their home to go into an institution or to die in a hospital. So the more that we can keep people in a comfortable setting, the better it's going to be and the more cost effective. 
We recently had Dr. Steve Corwin from New York Presbyterian who runs that in, and one of the things he said is consistent with what you just said, technology can really make a big difference here as a practical matter. Can you give us any sense, back of the envelope roughly, how much money we could save on health care by the full implementation of what technology makes possible? Well, I think when you combine technology with better and faster diagnosis, you're probably looking at about a 30% opportunity. And so, so much time is spent replicating testing and looking for the right answers and not providing the right treatment in the first place that I think that we're really looking at about a 30% opportunity there. Wow, 30%, that's a lot of money mm -hmm. given how big healthcare is in this country. Yes. Okay, 